If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it. Photon Store is the best place to get PCGO codes online with instant email delivery. They already have Darkness Ablaze available in bundles of 50 codes, single codes, and the pre release promo box. What are you waiting for? Make sure you use Tableman code for 5% off your final purchase when you're checking out. Millibotsgaming.com is the best place for you to find all the Darkness Ablaze singles you might need for your upcoming decks. Any Eternatus, anything you need. Make sure you get it at Millibots Gaming, and when you're checking out, make sure you use Tableman code for 5% off your final purchase. Tableman. Welcome back. Welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, thanks so much for being here. Now, I've been uploading a lot of the Twitch live streams I've been doing, but I do also want to continue with original YouTube content. And um, a few weeks ago, before Darkness of Blaze came out, I, up, I had this idea of playing old decks that I've been successful with in the past and um, playing them again on the expanded ladder and see how they stand up now um, a few months or years later. Uh, to the current meta game. So this deck right here, Golisoput Garbodor, was the first deck that got me a day two at a at an expanded regional. Yeah, which obviously made me very happy. I had just got into top eight at World 2017, and then I started off the first regional of the season, Fort Wayne Regionals, uh, seven zero. Yeah, so. I was pretty happy with that, obviously. Uh, this was the list that uh, Mike Fischer and I worked on, and um, I was pretty happy about it. Yeah, Golisopod at the time was a, had Goligarp at the time, had just played second at Worlds behind Carnivore GX. Golisopod had the first impression attack that does 30 plus 90 more damage if it became your active Pokemon this turn, so sort of like Sapto, sort of like the current Koopa. And then had Armor Press dealing 100 and taking 20 less and crossing cut GX doing 150 and going back to the bench. So at the time this was pretty good. You two shot most of the things with first impression and you had um, both Guzma and Acerola to recycle uh, the effect. And also you have Bear Seekers to recycle those supporters as well. It had Tapu Koko as well as a free retreat pivot, but also flying flip to spread damage counters initially and get some damage that way. Um, it also features Oricorio, it featured this as a night march counter. Um, double tap Lele just for consistency purposes. Also the 3-1, the 3-1 three one, three one Garbler line. We had three of the tool drop, which at the time, because Night March was a pretty good attacker to trade one for one with them. And we also have the Garbage Collection, which I definitely recall saving me um, in one of their Swiss rounds and allowing me to win a game by placing a supporter at the top of my deck when I was dead drawing. And then it features triple trash challenge um, items, of course, are pretty broken and expanded with all the really good items that are out now. So trash challenge allows you to punish said items. And of course, Garbotoxin, always a great ability luck. Now, I think the damage output of um, Golisopod just isn't quite there anymore, but we're gonna try out the deck. Yeah, uh, supporters wise, there's nothing too fancy. Um, Energy-wise, we have the very old Blend Energy, which features both Psychic and Grass, which is a great combination, along with the Rainbow Energies, which um, obviously feature all the energy, and also give you a damage counter so that you can purposely Acer all that your Golisopod without taking any damage from your opponent to reset the damage. Um, for Draw and Single Heavy Ball, uh, pretty interesting that we included this, and yeah. Let's jump into the ladder, into the expanded ladder and see um, with Darkness of Blaze, like what are we going to be running up against? And um, there you go. And uh, we'll see if this deck can actually take wins. So the previous videos, you know, which, uh, which I did this for, I played my 2016 national champion Greninja deck and we had some pretty close games actually. Had some pretty close games and uh, the deck ended up working out better than I expected. And then my 2017 top 8 Carnivore GX deck also did really well and um, like it, it wrecked. Yeah, it really wrecked. So I was pretty happy with that. 
I was pretty happy with that. Now, Dark probably up against... Okay, so the one thing is we don't have... Uh, the rules changed and now we don't have support, so I really want to bridge it turn one, so that's why I'm going to choose to go second. Um, you can't bridge it turn one if you don't have any supporters <laughs> in your hand. Um, but yeah, the... Um, the, the, the the guard of the 2017 world scarlet deck actually i think went undefeated or something it did really well like really really well and so i wanted to continue this series kind of featuring like it, it'll be a good trip down memory lane all of these decks mean something to me they they've been successful for me in some shape way or form and um i'm pretty happy with them yeah so we're just gonna go ahead and play with them and see what we can do. Yeah, I expect to get completely rolled over by all the uh, broken expanded strategies that are out there right now. But you never know, right? You never know. Like my opponent's going really crazy with items so far. One, two, three, four, five, six items already in the discard pile. Seven with that ultra ball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, playing a combination of the Dene, Shaman, and Crobat, which is insane. Um, ugh, not quite, not quite what we were hoping for. Um, so we're dead drawing here, not the best. I'm gonna keep this energy because I might get a hit next turn at least. Um, but yeah, uh, we might have a chance to punish with Trashalange. Like I said, I this is purely for fun. I expect to win zero total games. Um, off of this, off of this deck, and we'll we'll just see what happens. Yeah, we'll just see what happens. It's a, a small trip down memory lane. It's a way for those of you who might be newer followers to the channel um, to get to know a little bit more about me, a little bit more about my tournament history, and why it is that um, people look up to me for. Wow, nice. People look up to me for advice and whatnot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten items. So that would be a lot of damage. And my opponent doesn't have a lot of um, a lot of energy in play. So he doesn't even get like a big knockout on Michael this bud. Uh, we'll do this and then I'll just go ahead and retreat and deal. Well, I think I should ultra wall here. I think I want to lock abilities if Garbodor is in there, right? This is my first search that I'm doing. If Garbotoxin is in here, yeah, um, we might actually have some sort of chance right here. We might actually have some sort of chance. Uh, we do 120. Um, after this, I might be able to get like a choice band plus a DCE to knock out the Zoro Ninja. Uh, ability lock obviously pretty great. Um, my opponent also bench locked himself essentially. So it's like, yes, these three things are really good, right? But it doesn't mean you should play all of them in the same deck because now your bench is all super clocked up, right? And we do get end. I will happily take the extra three cards. I'm hoping I won't be dead drawing again during this game. And I get my Acerola, um, which in the grand scheme of things, I can't reset the Golisabot, but I will be able to just outright knock out my opponent with um, with Trash Lunch, you know? And that honestly makes me pretty happy. That honestly makes me pretty darn happy. Um, I'll go ahead and attach this energy, because the one damage counter, like I said, it might matter in terms of um, Acerola purposes. And definitely want the other Trubbish. And then we'll take three prizes right here. Yeah. We'll take three prizes and we'll get ahead with this. We'll take a win against the brand, like against the 2020 um, Turbo Dark deck featuring a three-year-old deck yeah. where I drew past on turn one. Garbotoxin too strong, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure what my opponent would have done there. I feel like he went turbo 
on turn one without really accomplishing anything. So yeah, not bad. <laughs> I'm happy with this. Yeah, I'm happy with this. So this is like a cool trip down memory lane. Like I said, I had just gotten uh, top eight at Worlds with uh, with this deck. Not with this deck, sorry. I had just gotten top eight at Worlds 2017 and then um, like two weeks later was the first regionals, Fort Wayne regionals, and it was expanded and it was the first time that I was gonna really travel and like really compete um, for like a lot of regionals and a lot of tournaments and um, it ended up working out pretty nicely. Okay, so this is rough. This is actually rough. We're probably up against ADP station, right? That's what you would expect. Um, so my opponent will be doing extra damage, will be getting... Um, yeah, this is terrible for us. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the N. And then I'm gonna go ahead and attach the energy. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pass. Uh, so yeah, like ADP and Seishan should just simply crush me. Um, I don't expect to win this one in particular. Um, but yeah, this was my first expanded tournament, I believe, that I attended. And I just, I was fresh off my top 8 at Worlds and I started off the tournament 7-0, which was like fantastic to me and it felt pretty great. Um, then I ended up losing the other two rounds like I, I played them out obviously to in order to get a better spot getting closer to top eight and ended up losing those two and then day two didn't go as planned uh didn't go that well for me um and um i ended up um i ended up making top three too yeah, which is not bad yeah my first expanded regional i was pretty happy um, I did it with this like original-ish deck. Um, Michael Prama what ended up winning that regional. Sam Chen with Night March. Sam Chen got second place with um, with with with. Sam Chen got second place with uh, with a fire deck like a big um, not welder uh, blacksmith and Compressor, Turtonator, GX-based fire deck, which was pretty cool. Um, so yeah. I'm gonna try and feature this like retro, retro Sundays uh, video sort of thing. You know, now, now that, um, <clears throat> now that it's been a few weeks since uh, Darkness of Blaze came out, um, obviously the hype is still there, but I do want to try and um, make some more original content as well. And that includes things like um, like these sort of videos. Yeah. Okay, so my opponent has played a good amount of item cards so far. One, two, three, four, five, six. So my damage output is starting to look decent, right? Oh, very nice intrepid sword for two energies. Okay, um, so two hit killing this guy sounds like a very good deal to me. Um, I'll go ahead and attach that there. I'll go ahead and end. And I do get a garb. I could also shut off abilities, but obviously that doesn't seem great here. So yeah, I'm gonna have to give up on the on the ability lock, which is not that impactful, right? Um, the turn really to do that has passed. And I would be very interested if my opponent decided to change up his strategy and not GX attack this turn. Um, but if he does, like I'll take three prizes, right? Which is fantastic. And then with the right combination of Guzma, I could end up winning this game still. I could end up winning this game. That would be insane if this 2017 Goalie Garp deck defeats a 2020 ADP Station deck. Like, it would generally be insane. Uh, my opponent is playing scoop up nets though, so he can easily pick up uh, the Shaman. However, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's already ten item cards. 
So actually, there's a 11. So now my other Garbodors just want to kill my opponent. So if I just focus on Trash Alange, this is simply gonna be like nuts here. Uh, wow, I have, okay, now I have a generally good chance at winning this game. Like, no joke. Absolutely no joke. A generally good chance at winning this game. If I can find a stream of Trash Challenge people, I'll take it, right? I will definitely take it. Um, get rid of the stadium and the bloodstone. I definitely want to play this down. And trash challenge. 270 damage. That means there's 12 item cards in my opponent's discard pile. That computer search is fantastic. This is really good. I am actually fancying my chances of winning this now. <laughs> what? I mean, it all comes down to my opponent's with GX attack on turn one, right? It generally 100% comes down to that, but we'll take it, right? Okay, so now the question becomes, I need to take two more prizes this turn. Oh, I need rather I need to take prizes this turn in order for me to to win this game. So there's two ways I can take prizes this turn. I could go computer search for Guzma and take a KO on the Shaman, or I could simply computer search for the Garb and take a KO on the Sage. And I definitely think that would be the way to go. Right? I definitely think that would be the way to go because. That will put my opponent into panic mode and maybe he'll forget about... Um, I could end him <laughs> down to four. It's just what I don't want him is to end me, but I need to also maximize my uh, chances of establishing potentially another guard um, or, and or finding the Guzma. Right? Like finding the Guzma as a priority. I know I have <clears throat> one Garbodor in my prize cards, one Trash Challenge Garbodor in my prize cards. But I have my win condition right here where I have Guzma KO on Pseudo Guro or Shaman. So if I get to keep my hand, I win. There's the Garb. So after this, I am down quite a few energies. One, two, three, four, five. So I have three energies left that I can attach in order to trash a lunch. My opponent cannot win this turn. He cannot take three prizes. Um, there's even a chance he can't attack me this turn. I can already see the headlines of this video. 2017 retro deck beats 2020 ADP Asian deck and Turbo Dark. Goalie card best deck in the format. <laughs> I mean, like I said, this literally comes down to my opponent voicing the turn one GX, which is not common at all for this sort of decks. You know? But I have my attacker, all I need is my Guzman. You see an Ultra Ball, discarding the Guzma Hala. So my friend is playing N and he is playing DS Seekers. The question is like, can he really expect to get an attacker going off of an N for four? Because he'll need Metal Saucers, he'll need a way to retreat, he'll need an energy. <laughs> Okay, well, this makes me pretty happy. <laughs> I can't believe this. Um, I expected to win zero games and we ended up winning two out of two. So 
we'll take it. MVP, obviously, um, Garb, but um, Golisabud put in work. Yeah, Golisabud put in work last game. Obviously, Trash Challenge is just um, absolutely insane, especially against careless opponents like it happened uh, the previous time or the previous two games. Um, so, yeah, definitely do not recommend playing this. Um, Seriously, for the latter, however, um, for today's video, it ended up being perfect. Thanks so much for watching. Um, hope you like this little piece of entertainment plus history on my Pokemon career. Don't forget to leave a like, it really helps out the channel. And I will see you um, probably like in an, our next video, which will be tomorrow. There's a new video every single day on my channel. But if you're definitely enjoying these uh, Sunday retro sort of content, I'll see you next Sunday for another um, flashback or nostalgia blast or whatever you want to call this. I should come up with a good name for this. Thanks so much and until next time. Bye-bye.